so today we're flying from Lambert International Airport in St. Louis to Columbia Regional Airport, close to where I live. Um, the current conditions in St. Louis are overcast and a little bit of rain. Uh, the course is pretty simple. Uh, the course is, and I'm going to use the map here. The course is taking off from St. Louis, flying the Brock 5. So I think we have a western wind, but I'm going to check the weather again. We either go this way and come back around and catch Brock and take it over to Hallsville and then cut short Hallsville and then come in for a, a landing either from the north or the south. Uh, the second thing, yeah, so that's the, that's the only thing right there. And if it's westbound, it's just westbound out around the traffic pattern and then catch Brock 5 to Hallsville and come around. Uh, it's a pretty simple pattern. There's people that fly it all the time. Uh, most of the planes that come into Columbia Regional Airport are from Chicago, but for the purposes of training, I want to do a shorter flight. I haven't learned all the ins and out of the, uh, the flight management system, but we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to find a way to stream this while we're doing this. Uh, good morning, streamers. Make sure that we're not having any issues here. We might, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to bring up the stream so I can see it. Very good. I'm currently streaming. Um, what one did you do next? I'm still learning this stuff. <clears throat> Very good. I'm currently streaming. Um, I can hear myself online now. I'm still learning this stuff. Sebo seven three seven. KSTL. I can hear myself online now. KCOU. Seven. We're currently parked at Lambert International Airport in St. Louis. We're going to take a small training flight today from Lambert, uh, from St. Louis to Columbia Regional Airport. Um, we're currently on the VATSIM system. <clears throat> there is no traffic in the area. There's also no air traffic control, but we're using this just to practice our callouts. Um, I'm just going to go through the procedures here. So let's just say, well, let me see, I have to do my flight planning first with the FMC. So FMC, route, KSTL. C O U departure. Um, we have to check the weather first. <coughs> um, there's no aid is here today, so we're just going to check the weather on the map and go with that. <coughs> Uh, altimeter, let me see, rain, 3-3 three, three at 5, so we'll be doing a western takeoff. Western departure, altimeter 2990. So let's go ahead and set our altimeter first. zero, and I know where two of the three altimeters are. I don't know where the third is. I think the third isn't here. I'll try to set it this morning. 2990. <clears throat> We're 
we're going to go ahead and set this, and then we'll go from there. So we're going to do a Western departure. Uh, runway 30L, which is easy to get to. We're going to do the Brock 3. I don't know about that transition. Um, yeah, we'll put the transition in there. Um, we're going to go to approach. Um, we don't know what the weather's like in Columbia this morning, so we're going to have to. We're going to quote check with ATIS on the way in. Uh, if anything like the weather is right here, it's coming in from the west, but it's not coming in that much. So we can do a opposite of a reciprocal of one three landing. So we're going to do a runway three run. Um, do this, and then I'm not sure there. Route activate. <clears throat> Put it in. We're going to check legs. Um, we're going to take off. We're going to go west. We're going to do our climb out. Lit. I probably shouldn't have put lit there because we should be coming through the Brock. Okay, something's wrong. So we're going to go ahead and do our departure again. We're going to take that off. Go back to legs. It should have taken that off. No. This is messed up. So I don't know how to start over again. But we'll look at this and we'll see how it looks just have to hand fly it, but we don't want to do that today. Well, that's messed up. Okay, so apparently I have a lot to learn. Because we don't want to go south. What we, do is, what we want to do is go west. So I don't think... I can... I don't know. I've done this so many times. I can almost fly this in my sleep. fly today. And we can absolutely hand fly it because we're used to doing this. So seeing this departure. Oh, Barry three. Okay, well that'll change it. Paul's fill. at arrivals. We're just going to come in 3-1, <coughs> although I'm not used to coming in 3-1. Um, let's try that and see what it looks like on the map. Luckily we have the whole route right here. Brock, looks like that looks good. 
I forgot how to step through the route. Um, go legs, and then you should be able to step through, but I don't see the step button, so we're just going to go on. Um, we're going to put our cruise altitude in here. Um, I'm just kind of making this up. Cruise uh, 240, although we're barely going to get to climb, get to it. stuff. Climb, cruise. It's pretty simple right here. We're going to go west. We're going to hit to Hallsville. And then from Hallsville, we're going to turn south and then we're going to come into the landing pattern, or the arrival. Okay. So we're going to fire up our lights because it may get dark in the sky. Forget, we're going to put our cruising altitude. So east is odd and west is even. Um, we don't need any of those this morning. We're going to go ahead and do our push pack. So once we have this and we've already filed and we're already set on Unicom, we're going to do all our Unicoms on VATSIM this morning. So and I need to come down here and yesterday I had trouble finding the broadcast button as I was flying. So it'd be nice to have a plate and radio stack. Oops, that's not cool. Well, it doesn't really matter what we're sending right now. Um, ident, so we just did an ident on this. So we're going to do our call, but we're going to do our call to... Oh, <clears throat> it'd be our call to ground. But we'll do it all in. Pull a map up a single loss. Okay, STL. Sorry, I'm not putting the map up here, but I just don't know how to do that yet with this system. And I'm kind of nervous. So currently we're parked basically at the southwest ramp. Um, we're going to take Delta to hotel. We're going to do intersection takeoff at hotel. And then we're going to depart to the west. All right, here we go. So, dial in our initial takeoff speed for our speed after takeoff. We're going to dial in the runway is 3, runway is 1, 2, 4, and so this initial would be reciprocal that, so it'd be 296. Um, we're going to put our initial, and actually while we're doing this, since I don't know how to do the departure correctly, we're going to look up the departure altitude in here. <clears throat> That's the 
Rock 5. Our initial heading is 3. Th three. And 2,500 feet is our first, so we're going to go ahead and set this for 2,500 feet. set this already as well because I messed this up last night too so we're gonna do kind of this is a nice easy hopefully get out we're gonna go ahead and arm the system and then we're gonna call ground and ask for pushback <clears throat> let me see what our second altitude is so our second altitude is it says 2500 feet or above but it's 11,000 at 2,500 feet, so it gives us a lot of flexibility. And that's uh, that's it, Brock. And then flight level 180. So I don't know if we should amend our flight plan or not. I'm going to amend it for 160. Well, let me see. No, we're fine. Had it for two four zero zero before, so if we get up to our altitude, we get up to our altitude, but we'd be routed anyway. <clears throat> so flight plans in. We have Chicago Center online. Checking fantastic. We do not have anything in the area, so we're gonna go ahead and call for pushback. St. Louis traffic, Boeing seven thirty seven November one seven zero. We're parked at the southwest ramp. We're going to push back and point to the east St. Louis traffic. Um, you guys are going to cringe when I do this, but just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to go ahead and put the thrust reversers on. St. Louis traffic number 170. We're taxiing out to 30 left via Delta Hotel for an intersection takeoff on 30 left and Western departure. St. Louis traffic. Okay, we're going to fire up the taxi lights. St. Louis traffic number one. Uh, St. Louis traffic number one seven zero holding short uh, runway thirty left or three zero left. Um, we're gonna go ahead and enter the runway. There's no traffic. I'm gonna do that better. St. Louis traffic number one seven zero holding short of runway three zero uh, left. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and depart to the west. St. Louis traffic. Okay, we're going to put our flaps down. We're 
just going to do a rolling start since nobody's here. Our landing lights. We're going to go ahead and leave our runway lights on. And we'll turn those off after departure. Our flaps are coming down. So we're just going to roll for a minute. Okay, flaps fully in place. So this time I'm going to pull the flaps in slowly. We're going to maintain 15 degrees up. Actually, we're going to drop down to 10 degrees. There we go. Move us down a little bit. We're going to catch some speed. The autopilot system. We're going to VNAV or LNAV. I mean, LNAV completely engaged. That's we go. That's the vertical good. speed came up wrong. Same thing happened yesterday. So we've already made our 2,500. That's gonna go. We're gonna go for 7,000. Our speed's not good. This is why we practice. 240. We've got the arm for the auto throttle engaged. B208, altitude 2900. We're still climbing out. We've got the flaps all the way up. We've got the landing lights on, runway lights off. Runway lights are a little bit of detail when it comes to this. <clears throat> uh, we're currently on path right here. We're ascending. I just get really nervous with these things. <clears throat> I guess we should do a call out. St. Louis traffic, number 170, we're 28 miles from the Brock and route to Columbia Regional Airport, St. Louis traffic. I think I did that right, but I'm not going to preoccupy myself with it. All right, so we're ascending through 4,000 feet, which we should have called out that too. We're going up to 7,000. We're just gonna assume that we're gonna go to the full height. And so we're just going to proceed to 11,000 feet. We're gonna over call on the radio. St. Louis traffic number 170, we're 24 miles from Brock. Uh, we're ascending through 5,500 feet to 11 to flight level 1-1, one, one, or flight level 1-1-0 uh, one, one, uh, in route to Columbia, St. Louis traffic. OK, 
okay, our speed is good, our altitude is good, we're on heading. The VNAV system is engaged, I do not know how to use the, or the LNAV system is engaged, I do not know how to use the VNAV system yet. Um, everything looks good in the plane. This right here, we're going to check one more time for the oxygen, oxygen set. So currently we're operating under the uh, speed restriction of 250 knots under 10,000. As I drink my tea. So I'm just gonna do this just for a second. So our current our current heading is 289. I'm gonna go to, whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to heading 295. So if we were redirected. So the plane's reacting, it's going ahead and taking the new course. Once we're established in the new course, we're gonna go back. That's what I should have done the other day. <clears throat> okay, we're going to scan it one more time. 240 knots. We're approaching the 10,000 foot. We're on track. We're currently 15 miles out of the Brock, which is the end of our um, end of our SIDS for St. Louis. Um, gear up, throttles on auto, flap off, brake off. Collision lights on. We're going to turn this to strobe. A little bit of lights on, and we're good. 24,000 feet, and we're pulling fuel from all tanks. <clears throat> so we passed 10,000 feet. Thousand to go. We're going to go up to 0.8. This point. Let's see, we have 37 miles to Hallsville, so we're just going to go up to 15,000 feet. St. Louis traffic, November 170, 9.2 miles from the Brock transition. Uh, we're going from 11,000 feet to 15,000 feet. Seamless traffic. That's 11,000 for 15. Seamless traffic. So we're sipping our tea here, and while we're sipping our tea, we're going to go ahead and look up a couple things. We're going to go ahead and look up the airport diagram for Columbia. Uh, 3 1 is coming in from the west. After we land, we're going to roll the end. We're going to taxi on Charlie to Charlie 1. And then I think we'll take Alpha to Zebra and then up here at the terminal or we can come in Charlie to Charlie 1 and then 
taxi over. So I think we're going to do Charlie to Charlie 1 and taxi over. Uh, the runway is 5,500 feet, and that may sound, yeah, well, normally we don't land 737s there, but we're going to make an exception today. Uh, we're going to review the ILS. Oh, there's an RNAV approach for runway 31. So we're going to go ahead and take that. So, um, AJQUR is the endpoint, and we're coming in at heading 316 at 3100 feet. And there we go. And there we go. So, we're currently doing well. We're 37 miles out of the Hallsville. I think we should be pretty good here. There's 21 miles for us between these to drop altitude, so I think that's plenty of space, plenty of time to drop altitude. But just for that sake, we may want to drop down to probably 8,000 feet by the time we get to Hallsville, because we'll just be safe. approach. Uh, we've checked the airport diagram. The next thing we would do is we would check the Hallsville ATIS and we're going to cheat today by just using this system without looking at the map very much. Not the Hallsville ATIS but the Columbia ATIS. So winds see overcast conditions 300 overcast that's not good so it's low uh, visibility 5 winds out of 33 at 5 altimeter 2992 so the altimeter is pretty similar but we might as well go ahead and set the altimeter here we've got an overspeed warning so we're going to back it off Thousand feet. We're currently 31 miles outside of Hallsville, and so everything's on track. <clears throat> so we want to go ahead and set this, and we should have set this for our cruise altitude 2992. But we're going to go ahead and set this for 2992 now. I want to set this for 2992. And if we were doing vertical navigation, we would also set this in the FMC. So engine looks good. Um, we should we should have fired up the de-icing for our takeoff, but we're gonna go ahead and fire it up now. Um, just do this early. We need anti-ice. Pilot heat, everything's good there. like to start descending, so I'm doing something, but I know I'm doing something by waiting. I'd like to start descending into Hallsville, but there's no real need to descend into Hallsville until, well, I don't know, pretty soon. We'll go ahead and start a light descent right here. Now we're two out to call to Columbia, so we want to call out to Columbia when really we're kind of 10 miles out but we'll go ahead and make a call right now anyway. Columbia traffic, Boeing 737, November 170 on Unicom. We're currently 19 miles uh, 
19 miles from the H, from the Hallsville VOR, uh, in round for a 3 1, uh, 3 1 landing. Columbia traffic. <clears throat> okay, 16 miles out, we're going to start our descent. We're going to look for our aim altitude of 8,000 feet. Keep doing that. I'm going to pull our speed back. I'm actually going to initiate the speed brake. I did that opposite. Master caution is. for it's probably for speed air conditioning um, we're not going to worry about too much Columbia traffic, number 170, we're descending through 8,000 feet, we're descending through 11,000 for 8,000 by the Hallsville VOR for a 3-1, or for the Hallsville VOR, Columbia traffic. I keep messing up the calls, I just get nervous when I do the calls. So here's our Hallsville turn, which means we need to keep in mind that we, we're looking for 3,000 by the time we get to the next trans next point which we may not be descending fast enough. Okay, at this point we need to check our speed, which we're going way too fast. So we're gonna go ahead and lead off. Hold the plane level, nearly level. So now we're under 240, and that's good. We're going to decrease our altitude again, and that's much better than we had before. But really what we need to do is we need to make 3,000 by the turn, so and that's 3,000 AGL, so we need to check the altitude again for Columbia, which I've got on the chart right here. icing on. Columbia traffic, number 170, heading to the Smith Point. We're descending through 7,200 feet for 4,000 feet. Columbia traffic. Just to make sure we're checking our fantastic up your flight radar, which I don't think is cheating, but okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our final check, and we're going to start probably slowing the plane down a little bit more, uh, 240 knots, 6,300 feet, um, we're online, good here, um, we did turn the landing lines off the entire time, but we're not going to worry about that, um, for our landing, turn this to continuous, 
but that's not as important as other things. 240, we've got kind of a quick thing here coming in, so we're going to go ahead and change our speed down to 220, so we keep slowing. And we did forget and leave the speed brake out, did we not? Yeah, we did leave the speed brake out, but that's fine since we're descending. I'm going to kind of bring it down just a little bit. As we go. Speed is for the flaps. 250 knots for the flaps. We're going to go flap one. That'll help us slow down quite a bit more. I'm concerned about the runway length. It's really short, and so we may go down and just put the speed brake out of the way during our descent. So this is kind of what I'm concerned about as well. We're recording, but we're at 19 frames a second, which is not good for VATSIM, but 20 is okay. It's not great. It's not great to fly in either. So 217, 4,000 feet. We've reached 4,000 feet. Um, look at our next point, 2,600 feet, which we should have dialed up before. 2,600 feet uh, AGL. So we really don't have far to go. 1,000 to go. At this point, we're going to put our second flap out. And just to be cautious, we're going to pull our speed back to 200. Again, our sim speed's kind of hurting right here. So we're about 10 miles out. So I'm going to practice the call before I do it. Uh, Columbia traffic, November 170. We're established on the R now for approach for 31. I can't pronounce that. Columbia traffic, number 170, descending to 3,400 feet. Um, we're 2 point, we're 3.5 miles out of the uh, Azure point, established on the RNAV 431. Columbia 2, traffic. Okay, so we're 2,500 AGL right now, which puts us 400 feet under our plan, but I'm not going to worry about that. I am worried because the we're going to come in pretty close here. So we're going to go ahead and change this. We're going to drop this down to 160, 170 to slow us down. <clears throat> We've got the speed brake out, but we're still kind of fighting against the speed brake. Um, we're going to drop another flap here. And at this point, I'm going to elect to kill the speed brake. Uh, 2500 AGL, so we need to put the gear down. Uh, we're approaching our landing speed, so we're going to drop another one. This is really not what was asked to me online to fly this in easy conditions, but we're just going to go ahead and fly it now. Um, <clears throat> once we're established, we have the ground in sight. Let me see bad thing for me to do right now, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can change to the ILS for this, and we do not have ILS, we have RNAV, and so we're just going to let the system fly us in until we get to about a thousand feet, and then we're going to go switch over. So we're going to go from this to 2100, which is really not that big of a draw. Um, and then we're going to go to 931 feet. So we're going to go ahead and go to 931 now. Go to 1,000. We're going to drop this down. Okay, so maybe we made that 2. So 
so at this point we're nearing the point where we start put one more flap down we can take off the autopilot and hand fly it in okay so approach vertical not selected we're at 2400 feet we're about 1600 to 1600 feet AGL um, we're going to pull the physical throttle back almost all the way and at this point we're going to get ready to disengage the autopilot 1,000 feet, feet disengage the autopilot. Tank rate. Tank rate. Tank rate. Tank rate. Tank so rate. we're at 600 Five. feet Tank AGL. Rate. We have flaps down. Everything down. 400. I know this is probably not meant by. There we Tank go. Rate. 300. Tank rate. Tank rate. Tank rate. So it, we're about 100 feet off the ground. Okay, so I noticed this was a mistake. Really what we should have done is we should have done the ILS approach on the other runway. 200. 150 knots, we're decent. Our vertical speed is dropping. That's good. We're kind of on glide path. Here we go. Um, we should be doing this now, but we're gonna go ahead and change our brakes right here and we're gonna get ready for a 50, quick landing. 40. 30, 20, 10. Engage our thrust reversers, thrust reversers out, brakes on. Eighty knots. Eighty knots, thrust reversers back. Brake on. Brake off to go to auto brakes. All brakes off. Thrust reversers off, all brakes off. Transition from the flight to the runway lights. We're going to pull our flap up physically. We're going to take our speed brake off. We're going to roll to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Columbia Regional Airport. Traffic number 170, we're vacated runway 31 on Charlie, Columbia traffic. Columbia traffic number 170, we're going to be taxiing via Charlie to Charlie 1 uh, to the ramp, Columbia traffic. So post-flight, we have our taxi lights on. We're going to put our starters to auto. Um, we're taxiing. Our ground speed's 28, so we're taxiing probably pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead and bang that back. Um, flaps up, speed brake. Uh, speed brake up. We have good throttle. And we're waiting for Charlie 1. Autopilot fully disengaged. Oh, that's Alpha. So normally 737s don't land here. This airport is mainly used by America, American Airlines, um, the smaller planes, the Embryo, I believe. Embryo.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are arriving. We have arrived at Columbia Regional Airport. Thanks for flying with us today.